The Axotrade platform touted as a third generation dApp building on Cardano bringing TradFi into the crypto and Web3 space has officially released on the testnet. And as a part of today's video, we're breaking down every single feature that this platform has to offer. What is going on, Ada Nation? Welcome to DAP Central. My name is Farid, and as a part of today's video, I want to highlight a pretty big announcement surrounding another testnet that has just come online in the Cardano network. Now, this is all going to be surrounding the Axel platform, which was previously known or labeled as Maladex. Over the course of the last two years, this team has been building very silently, but as of today, we now have our first ever glimpse of this revolutionary trading platform. Now, this is just going to be my initial thoughts surrounding the release of this particular testnet. I'm not currently home, and as I do get home, I'll be able to dive deeper into it, again, given the fact that it was just released a couple of hours ago. Now, as always, I'll be leaving the links to the actual testnet down below as a part of today's video description, and I'll also leave the link to their official guide to get you started on the pre-prod testnet if it's your first time testing on the Cardano network. Network. So without any further ado, let's jump into the official announcement, which was just released earlier today. Now, if you guys want to find out more about AXO, just generally speaking, again, they're aiming to be the most frictionless DEX or exchange on the Cardano or in blockchain in general. You can head over to AXO.trade. Heading over into their official Twitter, we got a tease about 24 hours ago that the actual platform is going to be launching. And so it's been a long time, highly anticipated, and we're now finally able to get our hands on the actual decks. So shout out to Yarek and the entire Axo Trade team for all of their hard work. So heading over to their official website, which is available at axo.trade, they've got what they call their newsroom, which is basically all of the latest articles about the platform that have been released to date. The latest one breaks down the actual test net, which again is now going to be live. I'll leave the link to it down below, but as it stands right now, there appears to be so much traffic that it's really hard to actually get on the platform and actually utilize it. Again, because it is brand new, there's a lot of features and just so many things to test. And again, once I've got more time to digest the actual test net, I'll be releasing follow up videos. Now, what I do want to highlight as a part of this video is going to be some of the features that is going to be available. So they've got a section here that breaks down exactly everything that we can expect. But some of the biggest features are going to include the fact that they're now going to be rolling out a pro mode as well as a beginner mode. So utilizing the beginner mode, you can pick from dozens of pre-made strategies or you could also copy other users strategies. What's interesting about this is that we just saw a lending and borrowing platform called Sarah launch as well. And they were also going to be including a copy trading feature. So I think this is going to be the norm moving forward. The ability to take a look at some of the winners within the ecosystem, take a look at their strategies and then potentially implement that within your own portfolio or utilizing your own assets. The next piece is going to be surrounding the fact that you can now create different strategies from scratch using their visual interface called the composer. So this is going to be a Lego style drag and drop builder that allows for you to implement different strategies. Now, what the composer shows me is that this is going to be much more than just a regular DEX where you only have the ability to pick two tokens, right? One that you want to swap out of and then the one that you want to swap into. And then you can select the type of order, which is typically a market order or a limit order. Now, scrolling down into their pro features, if you're a more advanced trader, they will give you access to what they call their X lane, which is basically giving you the ability to program trades directly onto the blockchain. You also get access to a lot more order types with a different completely um, revamped user interface that we're definitely not used to when it comes to the um, crypto or the blockchain space. This literally reminds me of a platform, for example, like TradingView, where you can basically break everything down and you have the control over everything within your actual portfolio. Moving on to the next section here, we do have a preview of what their interface is going to look like. Again, this is all available on the testnet. So at the top left-hand corner there, we've got the asset picker. We've got the trading signals to the top right-hand side. And then right below the asset picker, we've got access to our trading inputs. So this is going to be where you can basically select which tokens you want to jump in and out of. And then to the right of that, we've got the order book itself, which shows you all of the available trades um, or open orders that might be unfulfilled 
on the actual protocol. To the right of that, we've got pretty standard information surrounding the actual charts, which I believe is going to be coming in from a platform like TradingView. If we scroll down just a little bit, we've got some asset information. So for example, if I'm trading the AXO token, I'll be able to see all of the information surrounding that token there at the very bottom left hand of the user interface. And then at the very right hand side, we've got open orders, strategies and current trades taking place on the platform. Scrolling down just a little bit more, we've got some information surrounding their composer, which as I mentioned earlier, is going to give you access to begin creating your own trading strategy directly on the platform. One really cool feature that I did also see while reviewing their initial documentation was going to be a brand new DCA feature, which allows for you to dollar cost average on any position automatically utilizing the platform. So for anybody who wants to jump into the platform, but may, ne may not necessarily be a full-time trader that just wants to get a fixed amount of exposure without having to continuously jump onto the crypto platform, you can set up a DCA strategy to dollar cost average into a particular position or to potentially um, leverage out of, uh, out of a particular position over a certain amount of time. Scrolling down some more, we've got some information surrounding their algorithms. So this is going to be a platform or a feature that allows for you to create your own trading algorithm. I believe this will be done in tandem with the composer that we just saw there above, but you can actually then post your algorithm for anybody to leverage that, reuse that or build on top of it. So I would imagine that as the platform matures, that we're going to see experienced traders creating their own algorithms, potentially monetizing them or potentially giving them out to the community in order to just get their name out there. So scrolling down, we've got the markets page. And so this is going to be a pretty simple page breaking down all of the available markets. So for example, you can see the top gainers, the tokens with the top volume, new listings, as well as just some of the uh, market information surrounding CNTs or Cardano native tokens. So again, pretty simple information here. We've got some of the chains percentages, the TVL, as well as recent trading history. They've also got a pretty neat dashboard, which is visible here. Again, this is going to show you your total balance, your current portfolio allocation, your current strategies, as well as your recent trades. Moving over into the actual testnet platform, you can access it by heading over to app.axo-preview.trade. I'll leave the official link to that down below. As you guys can see here, I'm going to be greeted by the official markets page, breaking down all of the top gainers, the most traded tokens, as well as newly listed assets on the actual testnet. Scrolling down, I can see all of their supported Cardano native tokens, which include the AXO token, JED IUSD, and many others. If I jump over into the trade screen, we have the option to toggle between the pro mode and the beginner mode. By default, it's set to the beginner mode. And so as you guys can see here on the left-hand side, I've got my regular trading chart. I can toggle between the different time modes. So between a one minute chart, five minute chart, 15 minute chart, one hour chart or daily chart. At the right hand side there, if I get myself out of the way, I've got the ability to select between two different types of orders. One is going to be the limit order followed by the market order and then the DCA feature, which I mentioned earlier. Again, this is a really neat feature that I have not seen on any other uh, DEX or any other trading platform building on the Cardano network. If I click on this icon wheel here, we've got the ability to set our slippage in the time in which our trades will expire. If I back out of there, we've got the token that we want to um, utilize to swap. So for example, if we want to pay for AXO using ADA, we can select how much ADA we want to go ahead and actually swap for the AXO token. Again, we've got the ability to check or select our frequency and then the date in which the um, swap is good until. Jumping over into their pro mode, I've got the ability to see my assets. So right now it's going to be ADA and AXO that I'm going to be dealing with. I can choose to either buy or sell. And then I've got the types of orders that I want to go ahead and actually utilize. Right below that, I can enter the amount of ADA that I want to swap for AXO, followed by my frequency as well as my credits. Scrolling down, I've got additional information surrounding the asset itself, which is going to be the AXO token. Pretty interesting that we've got some key stats, including the volume, market cap, total supply, and circulating supply. I can also see some performance information towards the very bottom of the screen. 
on the right hand side here, we've got a trading view style chart breaking down the um, token that we're going to be trading again, which is going to be AXO and ADA in much more detail. We've got the ability to draw on top of the charts, and then we've got the ability to add additional functions as well as change the trading types or the trading candles. So really interesting features here for any pro traders that are not new to the game. Again, I think this is a really cool feature that's going to draw a lot more eyes and a lot more pro traders and potentially institutional adoption. One thing that I do want to note here that I've gotten a lot of comments about has just been surrounding whether or not KYC is going to be required in order to utilize the platform. So keep in mind that the team did have an ISPO because of regulatory reasons. They did decide to return all of the ADA that was raised as a part of their ISPO. But if you do want to go and actually claim the AXO tokens that will still be distributed, you do have to sign up for KYC in order to claim those tokens. Now, in order to utilize the test net as well as the application once it launches on the main net, you will not need to utilize KYC. So I do want to take a quick second to mention that here. Jumping over into their official strategies page, I have the ability to create algorithms surrounding market making, indexes, technical, and advanced. Now I'm going to click on this create strategy button here. And again, this is my first time really taking a look at this. I'm going to need a little bit more time to actually figure out what is going on. But a lot of new features that we have yet to see on any other DEX is building on Cardano. If I jump over into the algorithms page, we've got the ability to create algorithms as well. And then if I jump over into their composer, this is where we can create our own um, strategy that we can then, I believe, share with other members in the actual community. Again, a lot of this is completely brand new to myself and the entire community, so I'm not going to be able to speak much on it right now. But we've got the ability to basically drag and drop different assets as well as partitions. And as you're able to do that, you then are able to create your own um, trading strategy. Looks like you can actually run some sort of validator against it, and then you can save that or clear it as you deem fit. The very last thing I want to jump into as a part of today's brief intro or first impression is going to be their faucet. Keep in mind that this testnet will be running on the official pre-prod network. For those of you who are not aware, it's basically a testnet or a test network that allows for you to begin testing platforms before they're launched on the main net. So these tokens will not actually have any real world value. And so keep that in mind that while you are able to mint these tokens for free, that you can actually use them on the main net. Additionally, I don't believe that the testnet will be incentivized in any way, shape or form. At least it has not been mentioned publicly. So I don't think there's any reward going out to anybody testing it but it is wise to actually jump into a platform like this not only to learn about all their brand new features but also to get ready as the platform get, gets ready to launch on the main net again this is just a brief intro and a brief look at the actual trade platform big news coming out from this team here a lot of hype a lot of anticipation over the last two years and it's finally here in life for you guys to finally utilize and get your hands on on the main net. As I promised, I'll be rolling out additional videos, breaking down different portions of the AXO test net. So if you guys do appreciate content like this, as always, I would appreciate you if you could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more content like this surrounding the top builders in the Cardano ecosystem, including the AXO trade platform, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions for me surrounding the AXO trade platform or just Cardano in general, then make sure to leave a comment down below. That's said. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.